Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. Today, we'll show you the range of tidal wave pumps uh, from Atlantic. Okay, today we're gonna look at the range of tidal wave pumps from Atlantic. This pump was developed, again, I know the, the gentleman who helped in the engineering of this, and it was developed specifically for pond applications, taking some of the older pumps and trying to make the best of both worlds. This is an energy efficient pump, but not to the level of some models. But you, what you get with that is added head pressure and flow in a range of pumps, there's even a controllable model. There are some unique features on this pump I think you're gonna like. They all come with 20 foot grounded cords. They're all UL and CUL listed. It has a very unique uh, screen on the top, allowing the pump to be mounted like this for your surface skimmers. Uh, for ponds, you can put a 90 degree elbow on there and use them like that, or they can be used in the upward position. It has very unique clips where you can just pop the clips off and then remove the front screen for the pump. When you remove the front screen for the pump, then you get you know, to the front uh, volute area. It's using standard US threads, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, depending on the size model. This is the, the 1500 model pump, and its maximum head is 15 feet, 1640 gallons per hour. Rotate easily off the front housing, and you get, they're using a nice Viton seal uh, O-ring. This could be used in central systems, fresh water. I don't know if it, I would use it in salt water. Removing this is a chore right here. To get to the, it has a very unique impeller. And to get to the impeller and rotor, you have to come in here and it's kind of a finger cruncher. I had to use a pair of channel locks to turn these tabs. And you can see this, this pump I would not use for salt water. But once you turn the tabs, you have what is a very unique filter sieve that's in here, sieve. So you've got, it's a stainless steel screen that allows water to get back here to lubricate, but it does not allow uh, big debris to get in and damage that stainless steel housing. Very large, or stainless steel encased uh, rotor. Very large ceramic shaft. It uses a lock front so you don't have to ever worry about that reaming out. That's something everybody should be doing. And you can see it's a wide open uh, impeller design. That lets debris just be purged through it. So it's not going to clog and big chunky stuff's going to go in there. It's going to purge it on out the other side, which is what this is designed to do. Be very careful when you go back in on these big pumps. You can see the ceramic and the stainless steel on the back side of that. And then once it's in place, and again, I, I did this with a, a pair of channel locks. It just moved it. You just turn it and lock it. You're not really gripping with it. You're more pushing with it. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then this front rotates right back on at that point. Okay. Here's the graph for the models, and we will go through the various models. They range from the 1500, which is shown here, to the 9000. So the 1500 is going to be 1,640 gallons per hour at 15 feet. The 2000 model is uh, 2,640 gallons per hour at 18 feet. The 3000 is... 3,000 GPH at 20 feet of maximum head pressure. The 4,000 is 4,490 4, 4, at 21 feet maximum head pressure. The 5,000 is 5,150 GPH and all the way up to 22 feet of head pressure. Uh, the 6,000 is 6,600 gallons per hour and will, and will pump maximum to 23 feet. The 76, 7,500 is 7,650 GPH and gets you up to 25 feet of maximum head pressure. And then the beast, which is the 9,000, is 8,800 gallons per hour and it will pump to 28 feet maximum head pressure. 
that pump comes in at 587 watts. So at 587 watts all the way down to this 1500 gallon per hour model, this is a pump that's gonna be designed perfectly for your pond applications where head pressure could be an issue or high flow. If you want um, more energy efficiency, the Profimax and some of the models from Awasa are better offerings in that category. But this is a beast of a pump. It has a three year warranty. Um, and I think you will like this pump for those high head applications or when you're really pumping up and feeding a waterfall type system. Um, the title, don't forget there's a version, a controller for some of these, so you can even control the flow, lowering that wattage and get it just dialed in just perfect. I'm Ralph Cabbage. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. We'll keep doing them and looking at them. Uh, we'll keep busting our fingers and getting wet for you. Have a great day.